I really don't think Joker does anything to make people feel like they should be following his lead. Though I can see I'm not doing that theory any favours. Basically, if you wanted a film about a slow, terrifying descent into madness that, in my opinion, doesn't glorify mental health issues or violence in any way, then this is the film for you. Joaquin Phoenix is good to the point that I'm kind of worried about how that guy's doing in the aftermath of bringing this film to the big screen. And the story, which bases itself almost to the point of boredom, but instead feels masterfully crafted in this really suspenseful way that would make Alfred Hitchcock lactate with excitement. It builds itself to a conclusion that feels action-packed, violent, but not violent to the point that some people are trying to make it out to be. It's not ridiculous in any way. <laughs> At the end of the film, you're left feeling terrified by the eerie realism which is in all of these problems that Arthur faces day to day. You're also left feeling angry because, let's face it, the controversy probably means that Whacking Phoenix isn't going to get the Oscar which he so richly deserves. However, notice how I keep referring to the main character as Arthur and not as the Joker, and that is because this film is not about the DC Comics villain in any way. Not that we're going to have to worry about that because by the time the young Bruce Wayne that's in the film is grown up, we're going to have like a 60 year old Joker, so we're never going to see Whacking Phoenix tussling with our pale vampire Batman. That in itself shows that DC really isn't interested in building any kind of interconnected cinematic universe, but that's fine. We'll just treat this as a standalone film, and as a standalone film, it is excellent, and I'm giving it 84 out of 100. Now I'm going to go get this makeup off before it itches anymore, because this is insane. Come on.